Ah, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, shed update. And uh, man, getting that time of year, I got to turn the fans on in here. It's getting a little stuffy and probably need to start wearing a short sleeve. But anyway, uh, there was a contest uh, locally here, and uh, I really don't, uh, I don't want to say participate. I really don't enter models in contests anymore. I quit competing a long, long time ago. However, I do like to go to the dealer room. And everyone knows uh, that I like to go to the dealer room because I usually bring home uh, pretty good sized boxes full of kits. And uh, I do like to buy a variety, some to resell, some to keep, all that good stuff. So, I'll have to break this up in a little bit in a few segments. Some uh, in the next one and some right now. Uh, I, I don't buy them unless I really, really have to. Uh, but I do get some, uh, I do get some decals. A lot of decal sheets, and uh, I have a ton of them. They do have a shelf life, which is the only really drawback to everything. But uh, you can scan them, and some of them are pretty decent. You know, some are old, vintage, you know. Uh, you can scan them. That's just a variety of sheet. But However, there is times that I do like to get a sheet from a company like uh, that's uh, Microscale. And, you know, the shed likes to have a little decal department, and I like to have, uh, you know, the companies of uh, different decal manufacturers. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those. One of those where, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to say the historical part of it, you know, not necessarily the markings, but the uh, company itself. But anyway, so I got to do got some uh, decals, which uh, upstairs where I have the decal department, which you probably should keep them indoors and in climate control, but hey, you know. That's just the way it is. Uh, I do buy a lot of, uh, I also buy a lot of parts. And, uh, you know, a lot of, when you go to shows, they base, a lot of people like to unload their uh, you know, parts boxes or anything, or I don't know where they've acquired them, but like I got a bunch of uh, tank parts, you know, which uh, I think this is Panthers. Very usable, especially if you do like studio scale stuff, you know, you know, why buy a whole kit when you can buy the trees? But anyway, do got that, have to, uh, and then uh, basically like grab bags of parts, you know, and there's road wheels, more road wheels, you know, people that do conversions and stuff, you know, just, uh, that's a Panzer 2 or 3 or 3 or 4. You know, just bags and bags part, which I like to, uh, I do go through them and sort them and get them, you know, try to get the right uh, kit out of it, you know, where, as I do have, I do have parts of kits up there that you can complete. Also, uh, you do get, I call it a vintage parts sack, and uh, you can tell by the, uh, uh, the Martin PBM there, you know, whole Revell kit, however, there is a one little gem in here I thought was uh, unique. See, even a vacuum form, which, you know, everything is still usable. Of course, a lot of people, you know, think they're like junk kits, but this little gem here, you know. Uh, little figure. Have to do a little research, uh, try to find which, uh, which I thought, uh, not down here, it's upstairs. Uh, the old, uh, uh, I want to say 1910 cars or 1920 cars that they made. Uh, but anyway, something like that. We'll have to. Ah, what is that? Waspers. You know I don't like. Where did you go? There you are. Excuse me while I kill it. Uh -oh. Ah, they're everywhere. There we go. Ah. So much, so much to do. That means I have to go buy me a big wasp bomb. They like to, I don't know why, waspers like to uh, get model kits. And I'll tell you a story. I was a kid, I was like uh, seven or eight. We had models in the garage. Went to go get a kit off the shelf, grabbed it, put my fingers underneath the box here like that to open it, got stung. And I've always, always uh, could not stand uh, wasps after that. But anyway, uh, excuse the uh, killing of the uh, waspers, but we'll, uh, we'll have to take care of that uh, very, very soon. Uh, anyway, junk sack, you know, I do like to go through them because there's a lot of, uh, I don't want to say, 
not worth a lot, but sometimes you know you get kits that don't incomplete that are worth a lot and add to it. So more part sacks to uh, the art. Uh, let's start with. What did I, I did buy something that I didn't know. I didn't. I never had the Jay's work. I have never. I have never heard of that. Plus, paid fifty cents for it, and that is a uh, camouflage tent, or they call it a shelter tent. Looks like it's missing. It's not. It's already basically uh, pre-cut, and uh, it's already in there. But anyway, I have never heard Jay's uh, or, or had any of his stuff, so I thought, ah, I will add uh, Jay's work to the art. Anyway, I like little stuff like that. So, got to remember to go upstairs and fix that. Uh, I do like odd kits. Most of y'all probably know. This is uh, Ertl's Chinese Junk. Uh, steel sealed and better pull off what I paid for it uh, Anyway, you know, it's just odd, you know, I figure a lot of people don't even uh, Even uh, you know care for stuff uh, like this, which I just odder the better but anyway the uh, Chinese junk uh, I think it's just a uh, unique plus you know Ertl box plus the I may You know, it's just stuff you don't see all the time and uh, like the historical lineage of kits uh, one thing uh, I do like blimps or airships you know and uh, I picked this up only one I saw there and uh, just uh, uh, you know unique I do like Heller kits uh, one thing about them they're more of a I'm gonna say not really locator pin friendly but they do line up and uh they have a lot of uh i want to say unique subjects but anyway i want that to go in the real space section and uh we'll, we'll add uh and the britling orbiter three anyway i do like uh, uh kits of the odd uh I did pick up a couple car kits. One I did not know what it is, and I do not own one. That is the Sunny Tri Sunny Tri S, uh, the Cobra, which uh, still sealed and everything. I have never heard of that company. I thought, well, you know, uh, we always like to uh, add fine rare antiquities uh, to the art. So I thought. Well, Pretty darn sweet. Never heard of it, so it's like ah. Well, anyway, the Ark has one now, so we're adding the uh, Sunny Cobra to uh, the Ark. Also, in the vintage uh, department, I picked up the uh, Thunder Child. Excuse me, Thunder Thunder Child. Man, I'm thinking of that uh, Thunderbird from ITC, which uh, box is basically pretty decent. Uh, no. Uh, uh, you know, not crushed. I mean, it's just real good shape. However, the kit, and this is the motorized, complete with the electric motor, it is not. And if I can get it undone, uh, as you can see, incomplete. And it's almost, uh, it's almost toy-like, or I want to say really thick, tight plastic. I mean, it's thicker than a uh, than the kit, a model kit itself. But you can tell where uh, what well, is yellowed. So I don't know if it's uh, the plastic yellowing or if they did try to glue at one time. I don't think they did. Could have, but anyway, not going to run it. Don't really care if it was complete or not. I basically wanted it for the uh, box <clears throat> because technically that's one of those you know uh, model to toy type you know kits. But anyway. Plus uh, ITC, plus, you know, it's ITC model craft, you know, just different logos and stuff I like to pick up uh, here for uh, the art. And last but not least, which I will, uh, I have allowed it, and I don't know where, it's over here buried, but I did pick up a Mattel vacuum form kit in the box. And uh, I, I wouldn't say a kit. I do have one. I do have an original vacuum form. Does work. I have never had one in the box, and I do it now. And the beauty of this is 
it is complete. I couldn't believe it. You know, usually they're, uh, it's got everything. Of course, uh, some of the stuff's uh, bagged. I guess you get all kinds of uh, you know, boats. Uh, here, let me see if I can get a sprue here. You know, you get different uh, know, noses, mustaches, ears. I guess you make people out of it. Of course, I haven't really looked through the uh, instructions. Uh, where is it? Let's see at the uh, bottom of the boat. Houses. I mean, I have never seen. Uh, I've never seen one complete like that. I mean, I've seen bits and pieces, but it's just one of those. Also comes with. See, someone's even tried to uh, vacuum form the boat. So original, uh, not too shabby. I mean, pretty darn slick. Even also comes with. I can get it out. Old Mattel vacuum form uh, bottles there, which that's paint thinner. So anyway, piece of history I don't add it in here. This just uh, <clears throat> you know even comes with the vacuum form sheets, which I thought was just fantastic. A really good buy. I mean, uh, I I consider this a toy, yet I also consider it part of a uh, of the modeling world too. Anyway, adding the uh, vacuum form Mattel's vacuum form to the art. Anyway, that's what I got going on today. I have to go back in here after I turn the off button, and I got to go kill everything that's in here. Uh, hopefully they haven't made a nest and uh, we're adding the vacuum form, we're adding uh, some vintage kits and then next time we're going to talk about uh, we're going to have to talk about the uh, A-10 Thunderbolt which uh, I either want to uh, build the Cobra Rattler or you know uh, keep saying I want to build one but I have one now to do so if I so desire. Anyway we'll talk about that next time. Anyway that's what I got going on today so stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.